What is going on everyone? It's DJ Cool. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking at how to make a simple lo-fi beat in FL Studio. Alright, so if you've been following the channel for a while, you know a few weeks ago I put out this video where I dive into some of the major subgenres of rap. And one of these subgenres is lo-fi. And lo-fi basically is kind of chill, like boom bap. Very simple explanation of it, but um, just think chill boom bap. And if you want to kind of follow along, you know, make a beat, get inspired by the tutorial, what I would recommend first is downloading some lo-fi drums if you haven't already. There's tons of free uh, places out there where you can download lo-fi drums. Um, you might need to like put in an email, get on their email list, but you can just unsubscribe right after. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. But um, there's plenty of websites and all the lo-fi drums I'm going to be using, I downloaded uh, for free. So yeah just there's good stuff out there for free so yeah i got a bunch of sounds arranged here i don't know how i'm gonna mix them together i just thought they sounded cool on their own and i'm gonna start with this electro pad for the melody right sounds like this and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using a lot of seven chords so if i come into the piano roll here i'm gonna explain to you guys what a seven chord is so like a normal g major chord right g b and d so how does this chord turn into a seven well, we gotta count up. So G is one, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So seventh chord is just you're adding the seventh of the uh, root note of the chord, which is the note that the chord is named after, on top of the chord. So normal G major chord, <laughs> if I can place the note correctly, that is G major seven. So, lo-fi, I love using uh, seven chords for, because seven chords are just a lot more richer and just a lot more like filling. They give off more warmth. So, I'm gonna be using some of these chords. I'm gonna be staying in A major, I'm feeling today. And yeah, let's just do it. Um... All right, I'll go over here. Um, so after this D chord, I think I'm just going to do an inversion of it. And all an inversion is, for those of you who aren't familiar with an inversion, is you rearrange the notes of the chord, right? It's still the same chord, but you're just rearranging the order on uh, which they are here. So let's drop this in like right here. And maybe we can move this F sharp up. So it's the same chord, all the notes are the same, it just sounds a little higher because I moved that F sharp up. So let's listen to both of these and compare them to each other. So you hear how this one sounds a little higher, it has a little change to it. So yeah, that's something you can do if you want to add a little something extra into your lo-fi melodies. So the whole melody sounds like this. Alright, and for lo-fi uh, beats, I did not mention this at the start, you want to hang up around those higher uh, BPMs, usually. Um, it depends on what kind of lo-fi you're going for, there's all different kinds of lo-fi, but I like to hang up around the uh, higher BPMs, like 160 to 180, maybe 190. But there are different kinds of lo-fi, there's a whole lo-fi genre where they just put rain over it, so, you know, there's tons of different subgenres of lo-fi, but I'm going for kind of your standard sort of lo-fi adding my own twist onto it obviously i'm gonna just start with some drums i got this snare here i'm just gonna put it in on the uh, three before i move on to the other drums i'm gonna come over to the uh pad right here i'm gonna turn it down a little bit but what i'm gonna be doing besides adding that high pass frequency or high pass filter i'm gonna pull out vinyl right still haven't updated um i'm super lazy but what we're going to do is mess with this year setting. And this year setting will cut out certain frequencies to make it sound older. And lo-fi has a very vintage sound, right? So we can mess with this year setting and see what uh, sound will better uh, fit this uh, melody here. So that's, you know, really extreme. We can also add like a little wear on it. 
Not too much though. Put a little dust. You hear that if I turn it all the way up. I'm gonna turn it really far down. You can do scratches if you want. You see that really messes with it. You got some mechanical noise, some white noise, which is very popular in lo-fi. You got electrical noise, which I, I personally hate it, but mess with that white noise a little bit. I'm gonna have a little bit of white noise, because white noise is used very uh, commonly in a lot of different lo-fi tracks. Now that we had that little isotope talk, um, we can move back onto the drums. And I'm gonna go with the kick now. And a lot of these uh, lo-fi drums, if you get them from certain places, they will have their own noise in it. So, you know, you don't need to go super overkill on the uh, noise if you wanna go for that sound. That's a nice little bounce already. I think I'm gonna move on to the hat next and I'm gonna keep it simple. I'll just try eighth notes and we'll see how that sounds. That's really loud. It's a little uh, pan to the left, so I'm gonna put it towards the middle more. There we go. All right, so now that we get that hat done, I'm gonna move on to this open hat that I grabbed. So just put that in sparingly. We can bring that in and out here and there. I grabbed these two perks and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but they just sounded cool to me at the time. And we got this one and we got this one. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them, but we'll we'll just kind of mess around and we'll see. All right, that, that came out better than I expected. I think it's time to move on to the ant greatly anticipated Labs Soft Piano. So I'm just gonna play in the chords again. <laughs> Honestly, uh, they just sound so beautiful when you just uh, arpeggiate them like this. So you know what? I'm gonna grab the chords. I'm just gonna copy and paste them down into here. But I'm gonna use a tool up here. When you click on the tool, the little wrench up here, you can scroll down to articulate. It should be your third option down. And you click on that and it will automatically stretch all of your chords to the next chord. So there's no next chord over here. So this one you have to do by yourself or if, if you really want to, you can add a note there and articulate it and then delete the note after. But whichever way, it works. Um, and then I'm gonna go back into the wrench and I'm gonna go down to the strum tool. It's the two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth option down. Never mind, eleventh. <laughs> I can count guys. And um, just you can adjust the uh, strummer settings on here which it, it's still not picking up for whatever reason so that's really dope um, but you can adjust it to strum you can see it moving on the screen here but you can adjust it to strum how you would like it to strum and it's, it'll sound like this now and make sure you come up here and hit the slice tool you can hold shift down and you can slice along a dotted line here, or a straight line. I don't know why it's dotted. Um, I just can't form sentences tonight. Um, but yeah, that is how to strum chords out, and here's how it sounds with everything. So 
That was pretty cool. So, yeah, we got that done. I'm going to go into the the mixer and I'm going to do the similar thing. I'm going to put some high pass on there. I'm going to go into vinyl. If I can find vinyl. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. And I'm going to throw um, maybe 1930s on this one. That sounds nice. And I'll throw some reverb on too. That is sounding really spacey. I'm gonna go back into the main melody. I wanna add a little variation to this melody. So I'm gonna copy it again. And we'll move the drums over because you know, the drum's gonna stay the same. And I'm gonna add a little variation, maybe a few notes here and there. I kind of like that. That gives it some unique bounce. back and I think we got a little variation now. We got everything so far but what we're missing is the low end and for the low end I'm gonna pop into contact here and I'm gonna grab a Rickenbacker bass here and for those of you who don't have contact um highly recommend it but um I understand contact is a uh, you know, somewhat expensive plugin in terms of stuff. And a good substitute is a lot of these lo-fi kits and other kits in general will just give you bass samples. And these can actually do very well because we're not going to be doing, you know, a ton of stuff with it. So I'm going to keep it simple with the bass. I'm just going to play the root note and just hold it out. Starting with G and then just following the chords. I'll just double up the this last D just to give that second section a little more life because we do have that uh, second chord over there. So all together it sounds like this. I'm thinking what if we actually do one change. that doesn't sound that bad so yeah we got all the uh, parts for our lo-fi beat here but now I'm gonna go arrange it and I'm going to go like mix it a little better so I can present you guys the final product coming right up all right everyone I am back and I finished arranging mixing mastering this beat and I'm just gonna break down what I did so starting off with the intro all we got are the uh, melodic parts of the song for most of it and then we bring in like a little drum uh, portion to I'm not gonna call it a fill because it's not like anything different it's just a uh, slightly chopped up a little bit um, we do have the bass for half of it as well and moving into the chorus we start off with everything except the perks and the open hats and then we bring those in the second half starting the first verse um, we drop a lot of the sounds out um, including that uh, piano which is down here in pattern seven then we bring in the perks and the bass for a section here and then we drop almost everything out and we have the same uh, sort of fill sort of chop from the beginning here to reintroduce us back into the chorus second verse is uh, somewhat similar but i just swap out certain sounds here 
Uh, we have a section here where we don't have any of this uh, pad sound or the first synth that I played in. And we actually layer two pianos. This one is an octave down as opposed to uh, this. And those together kind of fill the void that was left by removing that main synth. Uh, we bring the synth back in, drop out the piano, and we do open hats here. And uh, then we do a very similar thing where we cut out a lot of drum sounds and we build it back up with this fill, except I keep the snare and the kick in for part of it. Outro is just the lo-fi piano. So yeah, that's enough about me talking about what I did here. And I just realized the uh, lo-fi noise was playing the whole time, but it's all good. Let's listen to the final beat. All right, guys, so that is the final beat, a quick, simple, basic lo-fi beat so you guys can learn sort of the basics behind making a lo-fi beat in FL Studio. If you guys did enjoy this video and learn something, your support would be greatly appreciated. Go down, drop a like, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. And also, if you guys do end up making lo-fi beats or get inspired by this video, connect with me on my Instagram on screen now at DJ underscore Eric underscore cool. Um, I want to hear what you guys make with that. If you do make something, it'd be awesome if you could send it over. Totally understand if you don't want to share it though. But yeah, if you could also subscribe to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated as well. I was on my YouTube analytics page, right? And only around 8 to 9% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So go down right now, smash that subscribe button. Let's get that number up to 20%. And some more incentive for you guys to subscribe. I know I was talking about this in my last video if you did watch. I'm dropping a free to download loop kit once I hit 1k subs. We are closing in so fast, guys. It seems like we're getting closer and closer every day. So if you want to make that happen, definitely go down and drop the sub. I've given you guys like multiple <laughs> reasons to sub now, so you got to go do it. But yeah, uh, that's it for me today, guys. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs>